good, y'all. Sometimes in life, man, all you can do is smile, man. Everything is not under your control. Once you realize that everything is not under your control, and once you realize that it's more of a game than love, you'll become a cold individual. Not only with your feelings, but as a woman or man, Achieving goals in life, becoming a great person. Many women and men have fell by the sword because of other women and men. Because of so called love. Because they didn't understand that love for most people is just a game or um, a product that they use more than actually, basically, loving that person. A lot of y'all can't comprehend that when you meet a new guy or a new girl, Nine times out of 10, you definitely ain't the only one they talking to. Let's be honest about it. Especially now, in the social media era. And it really breaks my heart because there's so many great women out here. So many great men out here that actually really want love, right? But I know they're not gonna get it. Because I know the truth. It's hard to accept the truth. It's easy to go back to La La Land and be like, well, maybe this one's the one. And I'm not saying that you won't come across somebody that won't ever do you dirty. But it's like hitting a lottery because not only is it hard to find somebody to actually fuck with you, they gotta actually be somebody that you really want to. And that's why it's hard for somebody to, for somebody to find somebody to fuck with them because you gotta be actually what they want. But we live in a world where options are all over the place. You're a good looking woman. You cook, you clean, you, you, you wear your heart on your sleeve. And all you want is one man to love you and you love him to death. That's all you want. But unfortunately, there's so many other women out here The men don't know how to handle that. They don't know how to handle when you give them that authority. What's the authority I'm talking about? The authority of, I only want you, I don't want nobody else authority. Or you can call it peace leave, or you can call it pussy, or you can call it sex, whatever you want to call it. And it's deeper than sex, of course, but we all know solid women who really want one man ain't fucking nobody unless they really try to fuck with that guy. Let's be honest about it. Another problem is, usually if you like a guy, a lot of other women like him too. Which means he's probably going to play the fence. Or, or should I say, he's going to play the field. And that's the dilemma that most women face. It's not that they can't get guys. It's the guys that they want are usually desired by a lot of other women. 
or they're dealing with a lot of other women because they put themselves out there. Because you can be a guy that stay to yourself, just go to work and blah, blah, blah. And women might find you very desirable, but you're not out there. You see what I mean? You're not out there. They're, the women, the men women are coming across are men who put themselves out there. Right? So since these men put themselves out there, you're not the only one. That's the problem. It versus a man that just thinks to himself and happens to bump into a girl at McDonald's or something. See, the women are running constantly into the men who are, I'm going to shoot my shot at 100 women today and just try to get one. And when they deal with these guys, they get played. They, they just, it's just your turn. You think the guy that goes to work and don't want a bunch of women, right? You see it all on the timeline. Where's the guy that only takes one woman, only want one woman? They probably, they don't exist anymore. Where, where's the guy that bring the flowers and all this? He exists, he's just not putting himself out there like that. More than likely, he's probably busy on his purpose. So here you are, running into the guy you really like. And you think you found the love of your life. Simply because you like him a lot, let's be honest. That's how it is, really. That's all love really is with motherfuckers. You like somebody, that's all it is. And we're gonna get to that in a minute. So you meet the guy, he probably approached you nine times out of ten. Because women ain't doing no approaches, which I think they, I don't think women should approach men, but they could go up and speak. Because I'm telling you, a lot of the men that's like, man, fuck that shit, I don't want to get played. All these women are for everybody. They not approaching y'all no more. That's why you think the good guys, the solid men, don't exist. They done, they tapped the fuck out. Why? because they was actually good men and they actually wanted to, to like women and got played. It's the other guys that don't give a fuck about being played or, or not working out because they never cared. That was not their purpose. Their purpose was only to fuck. So it doesn't matter if she's a liar or not because he's not emotionally invested in women. And it comes off across more attractive to women. So he's going to win every time. Every time. Well, I ain't going to say every time. Depending on the woman. If she's smart enough, she'll do the right thing. But we all know nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. Because there's no mystery there anymore. Once a guy likes her. Just like that. It's like, well, I got it now. I don't want it no more. Man, I can't wait till the PlayStation 5 come out. As soon as you get it, I don't want to play this motherfucker no more. And that's the problem with people. And that's why it's they're never yours, man. It's just your turn. They're never yours. Your turn might last forever. But really, they're not yours. They decide if they want to be with you or not. And nine times out of ten... Eventually somebody going to switch up on you or they going to run into somebody new. They're going to cheat. Can't tell you how many horror stories I can tell y'all about people cheating and shit. That shit make you not even want to deal with nobody like that no more, man. Because you know you're not the only one. She got one guy for weed. One guy for attention. One guy for sex. One guy for whatever the fuck else. One guy for dates. A lot of these people who need multiple people, right? They're never satisfied. So since they are never satisfied, nobody will ever be enough for them. So the only way they can create this person enough for them is to deal with multiple people. 
That's almost everybody out this motherfucker. If you really want to be honest. Because most people are not even satisfied with themselves. So how the fuck they gonna be satisfied with you? Just been honest. It's a fucked up situation, man. And the more options a motherfucker got, the less, um, the less they gonna uh, basically cling to one person. They not gonna do it because they don't have to do it for one. And for two, they don't know how to handle the fact that they can get multiple options. Everybody can't handle that. Everybody can't be a handsome looking guy and, 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 and reject a bunch of women. It's hard. I'm living, I'm, I'm, I'm first hand know it's hard. But it's not hard for me because I desire one woman. But what if I didn't? What if I didn't? That shit would be hard as fuck. It's only easy because I understand, I understand the game and I understand that I don't want that woman to just fuck him and him and him. That's not what I want, I'd rather be alone. It's the sad truth, y'all. And I suggest y'all uh, accept it. Men ain't gonna change, women ain't gonna change. You got a few here and there that are good and shit, but they usually like the wrong one because the the women and men that are bad and, and, and want multiple people and all that, they're experts at uh, attracting people. They're way better than the other guys. Why you think they go for the bad ones? It's not that they like bad men. They're just more of an expert at attracting the women. It's not that men usually like the bad women. Oh, I said that before. I meant bad men, just in case I didn't. But on this one, it's not that men like bad women. Those bad women are just experts at attracting and deceiving men, man. They'll say shit that they don't even mean, and you don't say it as the good woman because you don't really mean it yet. Because you're not trying to deceive him. So therefore, he'll fall for that other shit from the other women that are lying and deceiving and conniving. As soon as somebody else come along that they think they like better, and they more than likely are going to like them better because you're old now. It don't mean that they are better. See, a lot of y'all think, well, I'm better than them, so they, that by default, they're always going to like me. It's always going to be my turn. Wrong. Think about how many people cheat on people and realize, uh, damn, I shouldn't have done that. Or, or, or they cheat on somebody, they downgrade. Especially men. Women usually cheat up, I ain't going to lie. But men downgrade. Why? Because that's the quickest ass they can get. Women can get a man to cooperate down there easy. But that's a gift and a curse if you're a woman, by the way. And some women don't realize that, man. So instead of them realizing this, they plan around with a bunch of men. And that's why if you are a man, when you trying to find a woman, it's just your turn, bro, if she even gives you a turn. So don't take it harder if once she wants another man to, to suck it up, man. It is what it is, man. Stop looking for love, just live your life. Because people don't love anymore, man. They love themselves or they don't love themselves. It's usually one or the other. They love themselves too much, so that's why they doing the shit they doing. Or they don't love themselves enough. Or at all. That's why they do the shit they do. See? But let me explain. If I'm a hurt person and I don't care about myself, I'm going to hurt people. But on the flip side, if I'm all about me, I'm still going to hurt people. Because I'm selfish. It has to be somebody that cares about themselves, but also cares about other people. It has to be in between. But most people don't. Most people love attention more than fucking love, man. Most people love uh, quantity over quality. 10 hoes is better than one. When really the one ain't even a hoe. She's a solid ass woman. But one, well, 10 hoes is better than one woman in most men's eyes.
Because when they look at a woman, all they see is pussy. Not the woman. Getting money from 10 men, getting attention from 10 men, getting sex from 10 men, getting everything from 10 men is better than this one man that loves me. He can't compete with that. And even if he can in reality, most women's mind is not set up that way. They think quantity is better than quality. So they still gonna fight, even if they got this solid ass dude that, that, is, that is better than 10 put together. She's still gonna bite on them. If she don't know no better. Most don't. All because I'm bored with him now. I need excitement in my life. It's a problem, it's like a drug addict. I'm bored in life, I need excitement. What do people do? Go do destructive, dumb shit. Instead of going to do something, let me work on a book or something. Maybe, maybe, that'll, maybe that'll give me some excitement. They don't want to do that. Let me go to the gym, do something. They don't want to do that. Cause that's lame to them, that's boring to them. One man or one woman is boring to them. I'm locked down. I don't like this. I want to be free. I want to be a, a, a sleep around. And don't even get me started on Texas. Cut that shit the fuck out. Maybe at first, because you don't really know somebody like that. But after that, especially if, man, cut the shit out. Because it gives people the option to max they sell and to talk to multiple people. Easy. This is why when a, somebody loses attraction, especially a woman, she used to call, now she just texting. No more calling, she just texting. And then it's going to go from texting to nothing. And, and a lot of times people are only giving y'all the validation to get validation or to use you, to blow your head up, to get what they want out of you. Women do it for the weed, the, the drinks, the, the money, and whatever. And men do it for the sex, man. It's not, it's boring with one guy. It's so much funner with kids, because they're all different. It's so exciting in this candy shop. Why would I ever do, be with one guy? I don't want to be in a box like Brittany Renner claims the women are. But the Most High says different. Remember men, and even women, I'm gonna get to that. Because men got jobs too, we got obligations too. God didn't just put us here to be sleeping around with women and acting a fool. But remember, if she's a woman of God, she's not going to talk that crazy shit. Oh, you put me in a box. Um, I don't want to play the woman's position. Um, look at me as the same as a man. Whatever the fuck she be saying. Y'all know what she be saying. She's off the chain, man. She's dragging a lot of women down with her. Because she's really sad that she didn't work out with me, man. She's a single mother now, and it's, it's sad. Everybody want to be the bad bitch or the player. They don't want to be the husband or wife. They just come to you in the mask of a husband or wife to get the benefits of a husband or wife. That's what you're dealing with. In a nutshell, that's what you're dealing with. If, if there was no such thing as people, players, and bad bitches getting benefits of husbands and wife, they would have had no choice but to straighten up and act right. They would have to. Because it's in them to do it. They don't want to do it. And they're not going to do it. You know why? Because in this world, you're, 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 you're more beneficial. It's more, it's more, in reality, it's not more beneficial. You're going to hang yourself. But for now, it seems like it's more beneficial to them. So they're going to bite. It's more beneficial to have the 12 holes than that one good girl. Because I can have that good girl too and have the hole. But the hole's going to cost me that good girl in the end. 
or cost me my purpose. That one good girl, she would have still been there and I would have my purpose. I would keep being, getting my hold on. With my Beyonce, now I'm stuck with Felicia. Or a bunch of Felicias. But I had Beyonce, but I was too dumb to do what was right. Too selfish. Same thing, vice versa with the women. Y'all men, you cry, you you say women this, they they sleeping around and they gonna regret it in the end. Watch what you say. Because with men, it's the same thing. Don't be the woman that y'all talking about. Understand this. All they do is they sleep around, dog, and, and, and go to the club, and that's all they do, man. Don't be that, don't be the woman that you're talking about. You women, don't be the man that you, you be talking about every day on Facebook. Don't be that man. You, you just a female version of it. You don't even realize it. That's why whenever I look for what I want in a woman, I apply that to myself first. I hold myself to the standards first. But man, you're never gonna be the only one. I don't give a fuck what you say, man. Unless it's somebody that takes pride in having one woman. And I'm telling you right now, 90, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna even throw a percentage out there. And most motherfuckers do, dog. But if I had to throw a percentage out there, I would say about 95% of the people do not just want one person. And even if they thought they did, most people can't handle it. They get bored and, and they don't they don't understand. They don't understand, man, that uh they don't know how to appreciate. It. It's kind of like a car or something. They got it for a couple months. Man, I don't want this car no more. I want a different one. I don't even care about this car no more. People like that, man. Then you got people who deny the fact that they picked the wrong women and men, which gets them keep keeps getting them hurt. Right? And then they get to the point that they start hurting people and playing people or juggling two or three different people at a time because they think all women and men are the same. Instead of looking at the choice in woman or man that I make, I'm just gonna assume they all the same and now I gotta juggle five, six, seven, eight, twenty men or women at the time, which brings me back to the point. It's never, they're never yours, it's just a turn. I don't want to commit to no man, no one man no more because I got hurt by the last one. So now I want 10 for weed, 10 for dick, 10 for attention, 10 for dates, blah, blah, blah. Devil on a high level. It's evil in high places, dog. Instead of trusting God and being alone until, it finally, until they finally find somebody, they don't do that. They can't. They can't handle it. So they're going to use you for attention and use him and, and, or use her and use her. That's what's going on. Motherfuckers can't be alone. It's kryptonite to them. And since they can't be alone, there's all, you're always, it's always going to be another motherfucker. So when they meet you, there's already people there. Leave that. And there's going to be people after you. You think they're going to stop? Nah, that's not in their biological DNA. They not stopping. They not exploring one day that one one person at a time. They not gonna date one person at a time. Because in their mind, I'm gonna miss out on something. Because they not smart enough to realize, hmm, if I really like this woman or man, why the fuck does it do? How am I missing out on something? That's something they should ask themselves, and that's something that people should ask when people doing this multiple casual date bullshit. If I'm dating a, a person and I like what I'm seeing, why the fuck I gotta date somebody else? Why? It don't matter if it don't work if it don't work with that person. That's a person that I like and have interest in. So if it don't work, it don't work. But that's not what they do. 
Because truth be told, they, they really don't find interest in one person. It's not enough interest, should I say. They're not satisfied, man. So they got to date more women and more men at the same time. And you here you come along. Here's you looking for one person and all this other shit and, and get done wrong. Or they might like you. You're dealing with them and then the devil says, no, nah, I don't like this. I don't like two people who actually like each other and don't want to hurt each other. Let me send some temptation uh, their way. One of them probably going to bite. And then, since they was both good women and men, right? One of them bite. So they hurt that good woman or man. They hurt themselves in the process. Because it was the devil who sent somebody to make them bite in the first place. That's what you call not grass greener on the other side. I know y'all see that all over this motherfucker. That's what's going on. They meet somebody silent. They start fucking with them. Nah, I don't want that. I just met another one last night at the gas station. Now let me find a way to get rid of this one or keep using this one and start dealing with this one too. Get benefits from both. That's all they doing. It's a revolving door, man. That's why it's called a rotation. Don't be in somebody's rotation. As soon as you sniff it out, run. Run. I'm not knocking people who want rotation. Let people who want rotation fuck each other. Let them hurt each other. But if you a good woman or man, you want one solid good woman or man, vice versa, right? Sniff that shit out and get away from these people. Stop rewarding these people. Let them reward each other. They want to be in circles and shit. Let them do that shit together. Let them have their own party. But if you a woman or man trying to be exclusive, because you know it's the better route, right? You got to pull the plug quick. Because if not, you're going, you might get to the point you don't even want to love no more. Or you might get to the point that now you want a rotation. Because you don't believe that there's real, there's legitimate people who don't have rotations. Once a good girl or a good guy gone bad, they gone forever. Don't let that be you, man. Focus on your purpose, man. Fuck the love shit. Focus on you. If it's meant to be, if, 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 if real love is meant to be in your life, it'll fall in your lap. You don't gotta go looking for it on the internet and all this shit. If that's the case, everybody would be having love by now, right? Why everybody can't get it other than the shit I've been naming in this video? Don't look for that shit, man. You even got people in relationships. Yeah, it's still your turn, but they already trying to replace you or sleeping behind your back, all type of shit, man. That's not a turn that I want. You can have that turn. Focus on your purpose, man. Woman and man, I'm telling you. Do not focus on the men and women, man. Just don't. Focusing on your purpose is going to make, it's going to um, eliminate you being available so much to talk to all these women and men and, and get caught up in that web of bullshit. Because that's exactly what it is. Or a web of uh, rotation. But if you stand on your purpose and shit, you're going to, you, um, it's, it's just, it's like, it lowers the chances of you getting in the bullshit, man. Plus, when you, the better man and woman you become, the more you're going to realize what a, a better, or what a great woman or man is, and you're not going to want to fuck with the bullshit. You're going to see it and you're not going to want it. You're not going to desire it. It's going to have to be somebody on your vibration. You're not going to lower yours. But if you just out here dealing with rotations, getting spirits and energy put in you from sleeping with this one and that one, you're lowering your vibration to all these people, all these different vibrations. And nine times out of 10, they're on a low vibration. That's why they move the way they move. That's why they sleep with whoever and all this other shit. That's low vibration, man. Especially if you're a woman, man. You get on your purpose, you don't gotta suck dick the, uh, that you don't wanna suck to get this or that. Because you're already on your purpose. You, you only got to suck dick of a guy you want. 
but you still gotta be careful because he might be it might just be the type of your turn <laughs> not yours type of shit so you still gotta be careful but it's way worse when you are a woman not on your purpose men could basically do whatever the fuck they want man it's sad same thing with y'all men because when you're not on your purpose, you get emotionally involved with women and worry about them. And that's when they got you. You're not fucking with no woman or no emotional uh, games. Ain't no way. She always going to win. Because that's her strength. That's your weakness. Just like we have strengths that they have weaknesses too. We will win at them things. Like logically thinking. They're going to go more towards the, uh, the emotional side. That's why we can't beat them at emotional mind shit. You, 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 you're done. Don't even attempt it. Think about all these men that just want to be out here fucking women. That's why it's so easy like, for them to replace you. They can't duplicate you though. If, if you're a solid dude, you can't be duplicated. They gonna remember that. But they can replace you. Ain't no doubt about it. Well, you only one, man. You you only I'm only getting money from one guy, so now nah, I'm good. And I'm only getting dick from one guy. Now nah, let me get ten of them. Let me get income from ten guys. You see why they do it now? Same thing with the men. But men, it really hurts. See, men think they benefit more than women by sleeping with a bunch of women and shit. But I, I, I beg the difference. Because it's taking away your resources, your time, your energy. It's going to be awful hard to reach your, your full potential without those things. Or with those things on the decline. Or you're constantly abusing it and neglecting those things. But if you had a solid woman, you wouldn't have to. If you had one solid woman... You don't have to neglect your time and resources and all that shit if she's a solid woman. I said solid woman. I didn't say one bad woman. A solid woman. But go ahead, knock your socks off. Deal with a bunch of women. Just not, not me. I'd rather suffer in silence before I do that shit. Plus karma is real, man. So if you think that you can just run around doing people wrong and the, and the most high don't got something for you eventually, I, I feel for you. I feel for you. You do not want to deal with God, period. <laughs> not in that way. You want God blessing you. Nevertheless, man, and another thing, well, I already said that. You get rewarded for being bad. That's the devil, man. That's all that is, man. But God rewards you too for being good. That's what people don't realize. That solid woman is going to be better than 20,000 holes. It's just going to be better. Period. You sleeping with women with STDs and shit. And you claim this is better? She just fucked another guy last night. That's better than you? Her shit loose as fuck. That's better than you? She deceiving, using you, not there for you when you sick or, or when you old and shit. That's better for you. She, she distracts you from being the great man that you could be and reaching your purpose. That's better for you? Nah, it's not better. And the reason why men fall for this is because they think they think women are only valuable for pussy. That's the reason, that's the only reason. If they really looked at women and like, what are women really valuable for? She can do this, she can help me do that, that, this, and that. They wouldn't look at women the same as, oh, well, I'll fuck her, so now she's valuable. Or now she's wife because she looks good. They wouldn't think that way. And neither would women, vice versa, if they really, um, if they really dug down and really asked themselves, what is valuable men? 
But they don't do that. Oh, he swagged out. My pussy's wet. He's tall. My pussy's wet. He's this. My pussy's wet. He acts belligerent. My pussy's wet. He ignored me. My pussy's wet. He got other women fighting over uh, him or me fighting other women over him. My pussy's wet. And all this shit leads up to what? People ending up with multiple people, which means what? By the time you come along or the next person come along, it's just your turn. Hey, y'all have a good day, man. It's been fun. It's been real. But uh, until next time, man, remember this shit, man. And I'm not saying your turn won't last forever. You can meet somebody and your turn will last forever. But that's, it's going to be tough, man. So you got to go smart about it. You really got to be honest with yourself. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you're going to pick the wrong one again. People flip, man. People turn on you, man. People, people wear masks. I'm out of here.